Hi, I'm Curtis Knight. Bouquet and garter is something that used to be done at every single wedding without exception. Things have changed over the past 30, 40 years. So now bouquet and garter is done maybe about half the time, maybe a little less, maybe 30 or 40 percent of the time. So we like to, as an option for our brides and grooms, we tell you, we're going to come to you, we'll be 100 percent ready to do bouquet and garter, and I will come to you at the point that I think it should be done. And it's usually done after we open the dance floor. At the point that we open the dance floor, there are two and a half hours, roughly, to go in your celebration. So we dance for about two hours and 15 minutes, do your final dance, and then you do hugs and kisses. And that's plenty of dance time, we think. But should you throw your bouquet and do the garter? Are you going to? Some people say, yeah, we don't want to do it because, first of all, we don't have a lot of single friends. And when you say, can I have all the single ladies on the dance floor? Nobody's going to come up. Or you might get one or two and it'll be anticlimactic and embarrassing. So here's the way that we do it. If you, and I came upon this, we kind of found our way to it. Um, we discovered it after we had so many disasters with me as the DJ standing in the middle of the dance floor saying, may I have all the single ladies please? Single ladies? Are there any single ladies here? Well, there must be at least one single lady and then there are none. So over time, we've come up with a new way. And I say, could I have all the single ladies join me on the dance floor and may I also have all the married ladies as well. I need all the females, age zero to 120, all of you onto the dance floor. We're going to have some fun. It's not going to be invasive and it's not going to be embarrassing. So please don't worry. Just having a little fun. So we get all the girls up and I usually get about 30 or 40 or 50. I get a lot of girls and I get from the young girls all the way up to the grandmothers. I get them all onto the dance floor. So once I have all the ladies on the dance floor, I say, girls, can you scooch together and get a little closer to the center of the dance floor? We're setting up a photo here for the album. And looking good. All right, girls, our photographer's ready. Mrs. Smith is ready. She has her bouquet. Ladies, can I ask you to put your hands up in the air? Hands up, hands up. And I get a little bit aggressive and I say hands up a couple of times because we only have one shot at this. You're only getting married one time. You're only throwing your bouquet one time, your bouquet one time in your entire life. So I'd like to capture it and I'd like it to be a very precious memory. And 30 years from now, you won't remember me. You'll just look at your photo album and you'll see that photo with all those girls, everybody who attended your wedding, everybody's got their hands up and you'll say, what a beautiful wedding we had. And that's my goal. So I say, ladies, hands up, hands up, hands up. Here we go, Mrs. Smith. One, two, three. And she throws the bouquet and one of the pretty girls catches it. So I say, all right, pretty girl who just caught the bouquet. What's your name? Susan. Thank you, Susan. Could you hold on? I'm going to find you a husband. Don't go too far. So then I say, it's time for our handsome groom to retrieve the garter. And we go through that. Some brides say, we don't want to do the garter because we come from very conservative families. We can't have his hands or his whole body under my dress on my wedding day. So we're going to skip that and just throw the bouquet. So my response to that is if you'd still like to throw the garter, the groom can already have the garter in his pocket, pull it out and throw it. Nobody will notice. Nobody will care. Nobody will mention it. So now we're going to throw the garter. So we get all the guys up there, all the single guys and all the married guys. So we throw the garter and one of the guys catches it. And I say, sir, do me a favor. Come on over here and bring your garter with you. That was quite a catch. And what is your name? Bill. Thank you, Bill. Could you have a seat in the chair? I know usually it's the young lady, but tonight it's the gentleman at John and Mary's wedding. So let me have this garter, please. Thank you, Bill. Susan, could you come forward? Susan, meet your future husband, Bill. Bill, your future wife, Susan. And sometimes it's a 14 year old boy and an 88 year old woman. And she'll say, well, that's my grandson. And I'll say, well, it's your grandson and your future husband. So Sue, all you have to do is take this garter and just slide it over your future husband's shoe onto his ankle and you're done. It's only going to take one second. And while we do that, let's play the Bill theme song. And you hear, yeah, yeah, dude looks like a lady. And we play the dude looks like a lady song and she takes it and goes boink onto his ankle and we're done. And I say, Bill, 
Thank you for being a good sport. Susan, thank you. I'm sure you're going to make a wonderful couple. Aren't they adorable? Could you two stand side by side just for a moment and face our photographer here? We'd like to get an engagement photo. What an adorable couple. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Susan. And that's it. It's very quick in, very quick out. Make your mark and get out of there is the way we approach the whole segments on your wedding day thing. So usually people find it very enjoyable and it's a priceless photo of these two people that we brought together. So the takeaway from this video is you can avoid the bouquet and garter thing if you'd like to, if you just want to say forget it, we don't want it. Or you can say we might want to do it but let's make it a game day decision. Come to me during the dancing segment and if I want to do it I'll say yes and if I don't I'll say no. The other thing that goes with this is if you're going to throw your bouquet make sure you order what we call a throw bouquet or a toss bouquet because you don't want to throw your real one, your big expensive one. So get a secondary bouquet. It's called the throw or the toss bouquet.